YouTube, we back with another video. It's your boy LSP Wavy. All right, today's video is gonna be tips and tricks on how to beat the heat. Okay, first of all, you gotta know summertime, everybody here gets frizzy. It's not much you can do, but it is a couple tips and tricks that you can use to try to combat the heat. But the heat is undefeated, okay? I'm only giving you so much, all right? Just little tips and tricks that you can do to try to keep your hair laid in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into all these little tips and tricks after this intro. If you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> First off, okay, first thing you can do to try to keep your hair laid in the summertime is to stay ragged up, okay? If you working out in the heat, in the sun, you work outside, you playing sports outside, or whatever you doing out in that heat, stay ragged up. Don't take your do-rag off until your hair and do-rag is completely dry, okay? That's your first tip, stay ragged up, okay? Now this is, this comes with pros and cons, okay? If you stay ragged up all day, your forks are not gonna move as fast as they would without you being ragged up, but you're gonna keep a lay. You're not gonna have to go through them extensive brush sessions to get it to lay back down. You're not gonna have to wash as much, okay? So you gotta take the good with the bad. If you can stay ragged up all day, then do it, especially when you're running outside in the heat. If you're playing sports, if you're working on the heat, whatever the case may be, keep your rag on. Don't take it off until it's completely dry, all right? The next tip that I got for you to try to beat this heat is soft brushing, okay? You want to soft brush throughout the day. A lot of people cannot stay ragged up with the profession that they in, if they going to school, summer school, whatever, your job. When you take a break, all right, at some point during the day, soft brush, soft brush, 10 minutes, five minutes, try to soft brush it. You don't want to use a medium or a hard because it's going to disturb. It's going to lift the hair up even more. Soft brush that joint down and rag back up if you can. If you can't rag back up, just soft brush throughout the day. Okay, I know it's hard. I, I get it. You, you, whoa. All right. You gotta slow down, be patient. All right. You gonna learn how to do it and as your hair gets longer, as you go through all these many different wolf stages and you train your hair to lay down the longer lengths, it's gonna get easier, all right? So if, it, if you're a beginner and this is your first summer with waves, you're gonna struggle, all right? These tips may help you, they may not, all right? It just depends on how much you're brushing, what type of hair texture you got, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put the work in, you gotta train it to lay down, okay? Simple as that, all right? Another tip you can do is called the wet do-rag method, okay? This goes back to staying ragged up all day though, okay? So at some point during the day, if you're out in the heat, take your do-rag off, wet it with some cold water, okay? Wet it with some cold water, or before you go outside, you can do this too. Drench it. Get it completely wet, not, not on your head, but take the do-rag off, wet it with cold water, wring it out, put it on, keep it on as long as possible, okay? That cold water is gonna close your cuticles, it's gonna close the hair shaft, it's gonna stop the frizz, and it's gonna be your best friend in the summertime, the cold, wet do-rag method, okay? Don't ask me who came up with it. I literally don't know who named it. I was putting hot water, uh, do rag method in high, in high school years ago way back then okay so i don't know who came up with it it's a dope method nevertheless that's neither here nor there wet your do rag with cold water keep it on as long as possible and it's gonna knock down the frizz it's gonna keep your hair laid throughout the day okay next tip if you can use moisturizer because some people can't depending on your porosity if you can use moisturizer without your hair over curling, all right? Go heavy on the moisturizer that morning, right? Put double the amount of moisturizer that you usually would and then seal it in with that cold wet do-rag, okay? That's gonna keep your hair moist, it's gonna keep it manageable, and it's gonna lay down for a longer time throughout the day, okay? So we got, we got some nice little tips here, man. I hope y'all paying attention, all right? Take notes.
Next tip is pomade, okay? Pros and cons with the with the pomade, okay? Because if you use too much pomade or you're using it too often in the heat, you're gonna start sweating, and that, that pomade is gonna come down in the sweat on your forehead, on your face, and you risk the chance of breakouts. You risk the chance of pimples, acne, all the above. So you gotta use this one, you know what I'm saying, sparingly. Okay, you gotta take it easy. Don't be getting no goo gobs and goo gobs of pomade. Get you a dime size amount before you go out, put it down, and it should hold you throughout the day. All right, so when you take your do rag off, whenever you have to, if you do, your hair should stay laid for a little while because you use that pomade. All right, pomade is used to hold the style and hold it in place. Okay, that's what it's for. Many different choices you can get. Like I always tell y'all, y'all wanna go with the all natural if you can afford it. If not, go to your, your local beauty supply, your local Walmart, get the, get the 360 style, get the Murray's. If not, I usually drop in the description uh, a lot of different BLBs that I mess with. They have all natural products, okay? So that's another alternative that you can do is use pomade, okay? Don't go crazy with it, all right? Don't go crazy with the pomade, just a little bit, right? The last step, the last trick that I should say in the summertime that you do is keep a significantly low haircut, okay? We know we have to woof. We woof for connections. We woof for better definition. So we grow our hair as long as we can until we can't manage it no more. Some people don't get a haircut for 10 weeks, 15 weeks, sometimes 20 weeks, depending on the waiver, right? Summertime, if you cannot manage it, if you got a job, you got to go to school and you don't, you don't want to be fighting with it every single day, cut those woofs down, okay? In the summertime, I don't woof any longer than, I want to say, four to six weeks, okay? At the six-week mark in the summertime, I'm, I'm getting a haircut, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cut super low, but I'm going to get a nice trim for my hair texture. I'm going to cut down to like a three, okay? Winter time, I usually will woof it out 10 to 12 weeks, eight to 12 weeks, I should say. That's where I go. I try to cut it off at 12. But in the summertime, yeah, man, four to six weeks, four to eight weeks, and that's it, man. I'm not gonna be fighting with the frizz. I'm not trying to be waking up late for work and then trying to battle to get my hair done and lay back down before I leave out or come home and have to battle with it because I sweat at work, it's hot, you know what I'm saying? So you can get haircuts, you know what I'm saying? You can trim. Get a haircut every six weeks. You know what I'm saying? Every four weeks, maybe. You know, get a, get a trim. Don't cut too low, especially when you just start now. You don't want to cut too low. You want to keep going back into that wolf. You know what I'm saying? You cut down to a two or three, get right back into that wolf. So those are a, a few tricks that I've learned over the years of how to maintain your hair in the summertime, all right? Another tip that I just forgot just popped in my head is the washing style and the clay and lay, okay? If you don't know what a washing style is, shout out to Young Wavy for introducing the washing style. I have several videos of washing my hair, put the shampoo on my hair, brush it down, put the do-rag on, rinse it with the do-rag on. That's basically the washing style. The clay and lay, same thing, same principle, except you're using clay and it's laying your hair down as you brush the clay in it's like a clay mask you know y'all can go back and watch them videos i appreciate the views you know what i'm saying but the clay and lay will keep you straight it'll keep your hair laid down for at least two to three days after you finish it same thing with the washing style you'll get at least two days so if you can you may want to up your washes throughout the week okay so some people they only wash once a week once every two weeks or whatever the case may be up your washes you know what i'm saying wash your hair every other day Wash your hair every three days, you know what I'm saying? It'll it'll help you manage your hair throughout the week, you feel me? So, hey, this is going to be a real short video. Like I said, man, I'm not going to be in here all day. I just want to give y'all some quick tips on how to beat the heat, how to combat that heat. But at the end of the day, if it's hot outside, 90 degrees, 100 degrees, humidity, all that, the heat is undefeated. All right? There ain't nothing you can do. Your hair is going to frizz up, and you're just going to have to bounce back with a washing style when you get home. All right? So, hey. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Oh, oh, before I get out of here. Yeah, I changed clothes. It's a whole nother day. But last time y'all gave me hell for not doing an unrag, wave check, whatever you want to call it. So, all right, let me show you the progress. I, I trimmed down to about a three and a half uh, in May. So, I just washed last night. Basically, like I told y'all, to get through the heat, 
you're gonna have to wash a little bit more. So I did a washing style last night. These are the results. I washed with the clay smoke and the, and the wave slime from myfluffypuffs.com. I'm gonna cut my hair later on today or sometime this week. I'm gonna cut down to about a three around the crown and a two and a half for the rest of my hair. So I washed, I'm not putting nothing in it. I want it to be product free so I can cut my hair and <clears throat> get a clean cut with the clippers. So you don't wanna put no product in your hair before you get a haircut. You wanna have it clean as possible. No oils, no butters, no pomade, no nothing. But here it is right here. In my comments talking about man you got to give us a wave check and all this say hey i give you a wave check when i want to man and, and, and that's what we looking like right now all right until the next time i'm gone